Thank you, everyone. Uh, so the topic for today, which we, uh, so my name is Vipul Agrawal. I am the Chief Revenue Officer at Better Commerce. The reason we picked up journey to omnichannel because, as the theme suggests, going digital is more around not just going making om digital and physical stores speak to each other, but going omnichannel. Now, obviously, we have discussed a lot around how omnichannel has evolved over the last few years, but let's let's take a recap of the statistics and the, and the technology that basically supports this, this kind of innovation. Now, if you, if you take the journey of Omnichannel, what, what we have seen is average consumer takes at least six digital touch points before they buy a product. Now, in order to do that, you need to also make sure that their experience across this touch point might, might as well be offline or online has to be consistent, right? Because then they remember the brand. In India specifically, a lot of invest, the companies are actually investing into, into omnichannel experiences and initiative, but what we have observed is most of these companies are investing into inventory and order fulfillment part. You know? However, when we speak about omnichannel, it's, it's also about the experience that the customer gets, let's say endless aisle and few other initiative, uh, which the customer wants from the brand in order to remember them. If done correctly, the the direct impact is the cu customer retention and the loyalty, which has significantly shown 15 to 20 percent increase right at the stage of implementation. And at the same time, what we have also seen is if you have the right strategies implemented, initiatives done, uh, there's a higher percentage of uh, frequency of, of the customer purchase frequency. Now, if I have to think about what are some of the use cases, what exactly when we say omnichannel, what are the use cases that can be implemented by the brand? It could be, let's say, a pickup from store or return in the store. Now, there's a very uh, statistics are present around the internet that if you if you have pickup from store, there's high probability that the customer would make a second purchase. That's 49 percent chances of a customer would probably buy another product if you have pickup from store or BOPIS model implemented. You have store inventory showing online. There are brands like shoes uh, and experienced brands like furniture who would want to show the inventory online because the customer would want to know before visiting the store that the, the product that they want to buy is, is re really available in the, in the store or not. You know? That makes a lot of difference when it comes to the customer ex buying experience. It also help brand to implement strategies like endless aisle where you basically allow the customer to, to go through your entire catalog in the store without you need, you want to store, keep the products in, the, in, in your store. So endless aisle is another important element. Omni offers store credits. Now again, when, it, when you club it with the BOPIS model or the BORAC model, it has a significant value where you basically are allowing your, your customer to redeem offers, store credits in store and online. Shopper Stop, you take uh, any other big brand are the best example uh, who have done it right. And the new age, in the new age uh, D2C brands as well, there are multiple companies who are doing it right, where they are providing this offer, the loyalty programs and the reward prog programs across touch point, not just online or not just offline. You know? Another element which the customers are looking for is the same day delivery. Now, how that can be achievable is once you have mini fulfillment center, when you turn your stores into a mini fulfillment center, it allows brand to start shipping the product on the same day. So there are product, there are obviously industry where the same day delivery might not be necessary, but there are many industries where same day delivery is a necessity for the customers. So enabling having inventory vision across the board helps the brands to basically start doing same day delivery, you know. And curbside pickup. So DMART is a very good example where you have dark stores and, and other things where you, where, the, where you try to uh, help customers get the product faster. So they don't have to come to the store, stand in queue, you know, and the experience is far better than what it can be. Now, with brands, it depends on which use case obviously they want to implement based on where they are at the journey of, 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 the, of the success. Some of the statistics of these omnichannel are you, you have 
there are 49 percent of the chances that customer would buy another product when they come off to your store to buy to pick up your product you know 56 after the covid 56 percent of of the brands have started giving curbside pickup uh, as an option omni channel obviously has improved uh, customer loyalty and is, is is something which is which has become a preferable choice for the brands and finally there's increase in uh, the customer retention and uh, the uh, customer retention for the brands now as part as global statistic that that's true but is it something which is been done in india and at what scale so let's take some example so for example nika so when we started doing our research on how Nika has been implementing Omnichannel as a strategy as part of their initiative. We found that Nika is almost checking up almost all the Omnichannel strategy that needs to be done to make sure that the customer gets the best experience. They have studios, they have pickup in stores, they have reward program which, which pans out not just on the stores, their studios, their online channels and their membership plans as well. They have return in store available, so it basically allows the customer to return a product which they have bought online, but let's say return in store, and they use store credit as well as an example of retaining a customer. So they might take the take back the product, but they have not lost the customer. So store locators, so they make their their inventory available online for the customers to see even before they visit the stores, which makes their their experience their visit worthy. And at the end of the day, also, they also have endless aisle implemented. So what it resulted in, in is in back in 2020, after they have done a lot of Im investments into Omnichannel, they have seen 108% increase in the revenue growth. Now, another good example is Pepper Fry, who have done a lot of Omnichannel initiative after 2021. And just in 2021, they have seen 46% of revenue growth. Now, some of the elements that they haven't done, for example, endless aisle return in store, it makes sense because every brand have a different need and a requirement. Uh, but however, most of the important elements like Bopes or same day delivery or pick up from store is something that they have done, right? And which has resulted into revenue growth for uh, Pepper Fry and Nika with better retention. Now, the main element around of when we try to achieve omnichannel, what are the important elements that uh, the tech needs to solve? Uh, there are multiple solutions out there in the market which solves one or the other part of, uh, of, the, of the problem. Obviously, you can use a suite of solutions to solve this problem. However, at the crux of the problem itself, the important elements that needs to be solved is centralizing of your data. Now, when we say centralized data, what basically does it mean? You need to have centralized products, you need to have centralized customer, you need to have centralized uh, orders, inventory, all of these needs to be powered from one system, one, it helps you to manage them uh, seamlessly, two, it allows you to, to have visibility across the board when you, are, when you are embarking on the journey of omnichannel. So at the end of the day, uh, what we are here to do as better commerce we are in headless and composable commerce stack which allow brands at a scale to embark on the journey of omnichannel with the suite of modules that can be plugged together with the with your current stack or can be used independent or, or can be used together uh, depends on where the, you are at the journey of your growth thank you any any questions